Howdy y'all, welcome back to lives. I think it's time to play a little Arc Extinction. Alright, so I've got a heavily weighted down Anki. Oh. I wonder if I could... Is there any chance, any chance that you could carry some of this? I think there is. And then I can write... And then I can waddle back. Maybe I can put some, some more in the buzzard here. close. Wow, you have a lot of uh, levels, buddy. There we go. Should have done that. Should have done that a while ago. I've been walking my way back <laughs> from out that way. Slowly. Uh, not that this is very fast, but uh, slowly working my way back. With my overweighted Anki. Uh, I found a few obsidian rocks and uh, mostly just mined metal, which I need, anyways. So, we're gonna get this back and probably swap out for something a little meaner to uh, head out for some pearls. I wish I could remember where I got all my pearls from. I'm pretty sure they came from an OSD uh, that was bigger than blue. Uh, I definitely don't want to go the route I did that uh, that one time where I died and everybody I took with me died trying to fight off that never-ending wave after wave of, uh, what was that, purple? So we can find a uh, I don't know. I don't even know what colors they come in. Hey, somebody dropped a tiny little egg. Whose tiny little egg is this? A trap Jarek. I feel like you'd be better served if you uh, laid it in a tree or something. So just down there on the ground, out in the middle of nowhere. But whatever. Just gonna continue on my way back. My large supply of things. <laughs> uh Yep. We uh Man, it would just just having a conversation about um, pizza <laughs> with my my sister the other day, and uh, I had to take my my car to the mechanic. Um, the window decided it was uh, going to stop working all on its own, uh, and not just stop working, but also lower itself and stop working all on its own. And, uh, so I can't have that because I don't want rain pouring in my car. And so I had to get that over. Uh, and they were too busy last week to get it in, so I had to bring in... Bring, I brought it in this week, and, um... And so she said, uh, hey, you know, there's that pizza place out there by the... The mechanic. I'm like, oh yeah, I love pizza from that place. We almost never get it. It's it's one of the best uh, little pizzeria places in the area. Easily. Easily one of the best. Um, the bowling alley? 
might have slightly better but I don't think so and then it's a it's a straight up heavyweight boxing match between who has better bread uh, because the the bowling alley does these uh, garlic parmesan dough balls which are awesome and then the other place does what they call I don't know why they call it this, but they call it Willy Bread. And uh, the Willy Bread is also pretty awesome. And um, so I totally did not want to jump on the owl. I wanted to. You're not the owl? Will you open up the inventory for the owl, please? Thank you. Now, I thought I put some uh, metal on this guy. I did. Nope. Owl. Nope. <laughs> owl. There we go. Okay. Let's get you home up here. All right. So uh, when we went to pick up my car tonight, uh, we stopped and... Did you follow me? Why did you follow me? I told you to stop following me. S right? Oh, maybe I clicked on stop one and I thought I clicked on stop all. All right, let's try this again. Lots of metal. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, mm. <laughs> I do love me some good pizza. I have to be honest, my favorite, uh, it's probably be a three-way fight between those, um, garlic parm dough balls, the willy bread, which is, uh, I mean, it's right, a, a dough ball is just the crust um, in little balls and then fried. Um, but they uh, they put this garlic parm coating on them at the one place. And then the other place, they uh, don't put it in dough ball. They put it in, like... strips, I guess, like a breadstick, but it's not really a breadstick because it's, um, I, I think it's, I don't know, I, it must be fried and they must, uh, like, use a ladle to just pour the dough into the fryer because, um, it's, that's, it's shaped kind of like a breadstick, but it's it's not straight, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know exactly what they do, but it's good. Whoa! I don't know what's going on there. Somebody got eight, and um, so the uh, all right, that's hundred so I should be able to carry two of those so uh, then I I love a good bag of Little Caesars <laughs> crazy red I'll just do I uh, 
No, they had, uh, they really like Pizza Hut pizza here. And I don't. Uh, I, I find it to be greasy and bland. And, uh, so it's never my, never my ideal pizza. And, um, so I, uh, I always end up like, uh, we had spaghetti. And so there was like half a jar of spaghetti sauce left over. Um, because we, we eat, um, what we call baked spaghetti, which is where you take the leftover spaghetti and you put it back in the, in the jar, or in the jar? <laughs> no, you take the leftover spaghetti, you put it in a casserole dish, and then, uh, we always have ours with, uh, meat sauce, we call it, red sauce with hamburger in it, you know, and, um, so, uh, why don't you follow me? I'll take this mech. And we'll, uh, see if we can. I see OSD right up here. Uh, that's not a good one, though. That would be, uh, a little one. You're still with me, right? But I guess even a little one would be okay, right? To get started with here. Wait, there's two of them. Stamina. It's a robot. Why does a robot have stamina? Now, this first one's got to be a blue one, but what about this one in the back here? I mean, it's in more dangerous territory. Does anybody see my little guy who's supposed to be following me? Who doesn't appear to be doing a good job of following me? No? Well, I was going to have him help me fight all this stuff, but... You want to activate this thing, or... You want to activate? Can I hit you with my sword? Do you want to activate? Okay, so this is a blue one. So this might be what I'm after. Dude, you totally... Let the monsters in. Oh, but yeah, I I ate too much pizza before coming down here to start in on this because mm, we don't get that very often. It's a long way is the problem. It's a uh, it's like a thirty minute drive out uh, out to the mechanic we go to, or the mechanic I go to anyways, and uh, um. And so the pizza place is less than a mile from the mechanic. And, uh, so I definitely, definitely don't get out that way very often.
Hey, are uh, any uh, dudes coming or like we're just we're like right next to Wyvern territory. I'm just gonna chill here waiting for the timer to count down. What's going on here? This is why I don't like these things. I don't see anybody. Hello. Somebody's supposed to be. Oh, 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 here we go. Did, did you come to it? No, you're just a regular Pteranodon. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. You're so tiny. I totally busted my own shield. I can't hit that little guy. Why did you make that noise? Are you done? I don't see what just happened there. Man, I bet I'm hitting the thing. Jeez, I can't hit it. There we go. <laughs> These pteranodons are hard to get to. shoot you with my pea shooter. I won't actually because it takes up a lot of fuel. I wish there was like a HUD hanging over top of this thing letting me know like how much HP it's got and how many more dinos are in the wave. Which, whoa, which wave I was on. What are you doing, little guy? Getting shot by my laser. Oh. Did you send some bigger dinosaurs? I brought the biggest possible thing I could bring. I mean, I did bring something else that was supposed to help me, but he never showed up. Alright, so I think that was a wave. there for a second. I thought that was my guy, but it's just a stego and something else fighting. Hi, stegos. You look like you're uh, headed my direction. Oh, I can first person this. Or if that'll make things easier. At least lets me see what's going on. Might be a little easier in first person. To hit this stuff on the ground. <laughs> the tiny 
Tiny Dilophosaurs. Tiny Dilophosaurs that are coming for me. I'm bigger than the OSD. Teeny tiny dinosaurs coming for it. Bam. Yeah, one of the things I really like about uh, about my mechanic is uh, the fact that I can do everything with text. I love that. I love not having to try and talk to him on the phone. Either I have bad reception or they have bad reception. Uh, they can't remember what I called for, so they call me back. Uh... Especially like this one where we uh, set up the appointment a week ago. Whoa. I don't know where they're at, but they acted like I just killed like 10 of these little guys. How we doing? Chopped on that tree. I think they got sidetracked by that bear. Ooh, I see the new uh, American Horror Story, which I, I like those most of the time. Uh, it's going to be a camp-based one this time. That should be fun. Do a little uh, original Friday the 13th theme. <laughs> Might be cool. I uh, I haven't actually made it through the last season yet. I I got sidetracked and have not made it back to American Horror Story Apocalypse. Um, it was weird, anyways. I wasn't sure I was liking it. Um, I uh, I like the whole apocalypse aspect. Uh, it's one of my favorite genres, I guess. Favorite setting. Let's go with that. And, um, but then it got all weird. Uh, and so, like, they were having the, I remember what the apocalypse was. Uh, asteroids, maybe? Nuclear war? Something. And, uh, so they started bringing all the people into the bunkers, and um, and the people in the bunkers are weird. Like, like I think the devil showed up now, and uh, it's just it's really weird. I need to finish that so I know what's going on, but I didn't like the vampire one so much either. Um, I don't think I finished that season either. <laughs> I really like the witch season. That's a good one. Uh, I really liked uh, Afterlife. Uh, this has got kind of a sci-fi bent to it, so... Uh, no, no, not Afterlife. Another Life is what it's called. I really liked Another Life. Um, it's a little tropey. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily consider it very original in any of its thought processes, but um, it was... Uh, it's fun. Uh, it's a, a sci-fi 
um, where Earth is visited by an alien probe, and the um, uh, and so they uh, they got the scientist guy, and he is uh, in charge of the team trying to speak with the probe. And, uh, and so part of it is about that. Um, and then his wife, uh, is one of the most famous, uh, spaceship commanders, um, only because she sacrificed half her crew, uh, to save the other half. And, um... So she trained the guy who's the pilot, or the captain of the only ship capable of interstellar flight. Uh, and so uh, they, uh, they ask her if she thinks he could handle the first contact mission to the alien planet. And she thinks he's too much of a hothead, she tells them. And so they put her in charge of the mission and um, send her as the captain. And uh, and so pretty much that's, uh, that's about where you start the first episode is that little bit goes on. And, uh, and as it progresses, they um, uh, some bad stuff happens to the ship in the first episode. And so it gets heavily damaged, and uh, they spend basically spend the rest of the season um, dealing with you know damaged spaceship and uh, failing equipment. Um, most of the crew is in uh, like stasis pods. And so they're dealing with like that starting to fail and they can't get back into the stasis pods because they don't work anymore. Uh, they have AI problems because uh, there's an AI on board the ship uh, that runs the ship and they have crew problems and um, especially because, you know, the, the actual ship's captain got replaced by the woman that trained him and so he's he's angry and she's PTSD a little bit from her uh, her previous big mission um, she's on a ship she was second in command and the uh, they got hit by an asteroid uh, well it wasn't an asteroid but uh, a couple of a couple of moonlets in the rings of Saturn collided and ejected uh, chunks of rock in unexpected directions, and so they got hit by that. And so she had to hit the button to separate the half the ship that was about to be destroyed and the half of the ship that wasn't, which included the uh, commanding officer and nine other members of the twenty-person crew. And, uh, so, that's what she's famous for. And then, um, also on top of that is, uh, uh, the news woman, uh, who's trying to, uh, find out what's going on. Sort of. It's pretty good, though. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, if you ever watched, like, the old, uh, Stargate series. Um, it's kind of in that genre because uh, they do stop for a few different places to get supplies since the ship was so badly damaged. And uh, uh, and so they do because I mean like they're out of oxygen and hydrogen and water and food and um, so I think almost 
almost every episode, uh, maybe not almost every episode, but more than half the episodes, they wind up on a planet somewhere uh, trying to get supplies. Uh, I honestly, um, I wasn't sure where they were going to go with the series, and it it's a lot faster paced than I was expecting. Uh, especially given the initial the initial problem that they had uh, on board the spacecraft was that uh, um, gravity lensing uh, distorted their view of where they thought the aliens homeworld was and so when they got closer the uh, gravity lensing cleared up and they realized that the home world was actually like 500 light years farther out than they expected uh, it could have been 500 because that's the next place they need to go um, but it was uh, a lot farther out than they expected they thought it was going to be like a six month journey and uh, and now they've got like a, a dark matter nebula between them and the planet that they're trying to get to and so they are arguing over whether they should uh, dive through the dark matter um, which they can't see and they can't see anything inside of and so they basically would be flying blind yeah you need to get way closer than that and uh Okay, now I'm now I'm trapped. What? No, you can auto repair. Just yeah, there we go. Come on, let me open this inventory. I feel like I picked up some stuff and it disappeared. Come on. Don't fight me. Let me pick up inventory here. Oh, there's like a whole other section there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I need that. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. don't need those. I don't need those. I don't need those. What I needed was black pearls, but I will take, I will take, uh, ooh, yeah, Freya chili too. i take that as well. I don't need rocks. I don't need platforms. I don't need lances. This is not great. Uh, I got about two, close to 200 polymer. I also got, oh, that's focus chili. Dang it. I thought that was uh, Freya chili. I don't need that. That was a lot of effort for not finding anything super useful. Well, maybe we can find my guy on the way back. Where you at, buddy, who's supposed to be following me and didn't do a good job of it? So you should be right here somewhere. Dang it. This is why I have two of these guys, because he probably just fell through the world for half a second. I kept checking to make sure he was still with me and now he's not really around 
My robot ran out of stamina again. Well, I still need a lot of pearls. And obviously blue is not the color. Uh, let's see. Did you get anything useful? I mean, that you already had. You really need recipes, so no, no. Uh... I mean, that was super helpful, I guess, but Black Pearls is the thing that I desperately need. Is it all obsidian? Oh man, I have a ton of obsidian left. I need more cementing paste, apparently. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's really fast paced. I... Like, oh, look, and then poof, here he is. Here he is. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I, I guess, uh, I guess what I expected was more Star Trek, uh, from the space parts. Because it seemed like they were going to have to travel a long time to get through the dark matter cloud. And, um... And they didn't. They didn't. It... It... <laughs> I think it was, like, two episodes. <laughs> you know? And I was like, you know, we got a seven-month expanse to cross. And we our sensors can't detect anything inside. There could be anything in there. Whole solar systems... Uh, you know, and I'm like, ooh, okay, so cool. They're going to go into unknown territory, uh, and nobody will know. Hey, cool. It's nice you guys came back, I guess. Don't mind me stealing your stuff. Should have taken those pearls, and I didn't. And, um... But yeah, so it's it's a very fast-paced show uh, compared to what I was expecting. But I enjoyed it. It's it's a lot of fun sci-fi stuff. It's not super deep, um, but uh, I did enjoy watching Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica being Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica, Galactica again. Uh, she's the captain of the ship, uh, and so. All right, well, with that, I am going to call it a day. So click like if you like, subscribe to and catch the next one. I will talk to you later.